Hi, hola, welcome to Alpha Dime. So today we'll be doing this look over here, which is like a peachy cranberry look. I'm only saying cranberry because of the red over my brow bone. But if you're interested to see how I created this look, please stay tuned. All right, so my face is all set. My eyebrows are done with the Maybelline Brow, brow Sculpt uh, Gel. So that's all set. I did my face with the foundation I've been using this week, which is the Callus um, Number no. Three Golden Beige, uh, which I'll link below. And I believe that's it. But as you guys can see, this is the look that I'm going to be working on today. Um, it's on the simple side. Um, I feel like it's possible for anybody to do because it doesn't require um, a lot of like technique or anything to be specific. So let's get started. That way you guys can see that I'm not lying. So I'm gonna use my usual brush that I use by Amaris, um, the fluffy with the thin side. Um, and the palette I'll be using today is the one by Romantic Beauty um, that opens up this way. And the colors we'll be using, I don't think these have any name. No, I don't think these have names, but I'll be using this like maroon one and then like this like peachy golden shimmer one and you guys will see how easy this is to do so with the thin side i just dab in there a little bit and what you do is that you're gonna draw like if you're doing your brow bone and i started with the different side this time because i always start with this side So you see you want to go from in and out. And you can make it as deep or as light as you want. It is your preference. Now with the fluffy side, you just blend it out a little bit so it's not so, so harsh. Now here's where the easy part comes in. I know you guys probably don't believe me, but I'm not lying. <laughs> so with concealer, and I also use concealer under my eyes because that's like the best technique to make sure that your face looks good and to conceal all the imperfections that we have as human beings. And then you're gonna use a cream shadow brush and you're gonna Blend it out. Now to make the wing, what I used was my um, lip brush. And what I did was that I took a little bit of the concealer, just like that, like legit, the smallest amount. And what I did was that I traced out like that and then like that. Now we're gonna go in with a different brush and you're gonna take the peachy uh, shimmery color and you just dab it in there. This was honestly my favorite part. Like that, this is my favorite part, just adding this shimmer. Because it makes that wing look uh, so perfect. Sure that it's on fleek because this side is on fleek. 
Yes. For those who don't know what flake means, it's just, it means it looks perfect. Okay, I just touched that side up a little bit. Now for the lower lid, what I did was is that I went to that maroon color again and I just did it on the outer part so I didn't fully go all the way. Like that. And then for our lower lid, we did some white eyeliner on our waterline. And what I do is that since it's white, I just draw a little bit on my hand to clean it off a little bit because the maroon mixes with the white because my eyes are watering like a lot. Continue to use the NYX Wonder Stick. And as usual, we'll use the back of the beauty blender. This is honestly my favorite way um, to contour now. Um, I like the creamy products better, I guess, than powder. bit on our forehead just to warm things up a little bit and our nose and a little bit under your lip to give it a little piloty look and like I always say you can uh, blend it out with a brush if you prefer. I just prefer my beauty blender. And what I did was with the brush that I did the shimmer, I just used whatever's left under my brow. Okay, now Let's do some blush. We're gonna do the Kylie we're going shopping as usual. I just prefer this color because it's like a peachy pink. I do need to buy pink blush because I love pink blush, but I don't have like a good one. So I have to buy one. Maybe from Kylie, we'll see. She has a nice pink one. And as usual, just do it upward give you that fully lifted look. Do you see how pigmented it is? It's like, whoa. Now for highlighting, I wanna use a different highlighter. This one's from Unique. It's the doo -doo -doo, Brazen color highlighter. I believe this is a new formula. I've never used it before. I bought it and I forgot I had it. So, with this fan brush, just apply it generously. I do like it. Never tried this before. We'll do the MAC Fix It. Now for mascara, we'll do the Unique 4D. 
because whenever I do dramatic eyes, I want my eyelashes to be just as dramatic. And just make sure you go all the way from bottom to the end. Now for lips, we're gonna do Kylie Jenner Bare, which I haven't used in a while, and we'll use her Kylie Jenner Iced Latte Lip Liner. I'm only using this one because this one's really um, light on me because my skin tone is darker, and this will help me like balance it out. So. And I just overline a little bit and then I just fill it out a little bit because like I said I don't want the color to be too 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 light on me Now we'll put our finger and then clean it off with a makeup wipe. But this is the final look. I hope you guys liked it. I wanted to do something like red slash peachy, which is what we accomplished here. Um, I hope this was easy enough as I said it was. <laughs> if it wasn't, please let me know. Um, but to finalize our video, I'll read you guys a quote. And it's by Tim Detellis. And it says, be the attitude you want to be around. Can't be clearer than that. Thank you so much for tuning in this Friday. And I can't wait to see you guys. Can't wait to see you guys next week. Um, as usual, have a wonderful day. And please subscribe and follow. Um, and let me know if you guys want to see anything different. Thank you.